What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we got to talk about what's really been a uh, a popular topic since uh, last night's Money in the Bank. And that is, was the men's Money in the Bank uh, match a waste of time? Was the men's Money in the Bank briefcase wasted this year? And I've seen a lot of people say that it definitely was wasted and they gave their reasons why. And I can actually understand why some people would feel that way. Hell, initially in my preview and predictions, I was more along the lines of maybe having a Carmelo Hayes win or somebody else win and having CM Punk screw Drew out of the actual money in the bank match, which I think a lot of people were expecting. But when Drew did win, I started to think about it a little bit in a different light because now I'm thinking, OK, there has to be obviously a clear reason why they didn't uh, have anyone else win. And the clear reason is simple. Gunther most likely will become the new world heavyweight champion at this year's SummerSlam. And it's safe to say Gunther's not going to have a short title reign. There's a good chance that Gunther will probably have a year plus title reign. Maybe. It's a really good possibility that Gunther's not going to lose for a very long time. And Cody, we know he's not losing the WWE Undisputed Championship for a very long time as well. Probably not even going to lose it for the rest of this year. We don't even know what they're going to do with him going into next year's WrestleMania. But there's a really good chance that he's not going to lose the title. So essentially, if you have one of these newer guys win the championship, like a Carmelo Hayes or whatnot, or win the, the briefcase, there's a really good chance that they're, whenever they try to cash in on any one of these champions, they're not going to win. They're not. There's really a, a, a no-win situation for whoever was one of those competitors to cash in the money in the briefcase. So I think they went with the more logical route, which is, have drew win it then have him cash in the same night like he said he would on a damian priest and then have cm punk screw him over because at least in that situation it makes sense to the overall story that they've been telling with cm punk and drew mcintyre and i've seen some people complain that they you know that this whole cm punk and drew mcintyre thing is getting repetitive well once again if you paid attention to the feud itself, this has been going on for a while. This started because of Drew injuring CM Punk, costing him his WrestleMania moment. And then, if you guys remember, all the way leading up to WrestleMania, he kept poking and prodding at CM Punk. So this was bound to happen. The dude attacked him <laughs> in Chicago not too long ago. This was bound to happen. You knew this was going to happen. This is the story that they're telling. It's so much hatred between these guys that at some point, you know, it they're going to implode. And I, I've seen someone say, uh, I don't get it. Like, they're not even fighting for a title. All feuds don't need a title. Some of the best wrestling feuds don't involve a title. If it's a blood feud, it doesn't need the title. The titles already have their own stories. We got the Damian Priest Judgment Day story and how that's going to play into his match with Gunther. We also have Cody Rhodes dealing with the bloodline. And I'm sure at some point he may even do something with Randy Orton. So he has his own storyline. That's fine. Cool. But there's it's okay to have different wrestling feuds that don't involve the championship because... It doesn't need that. Sometimes people just don't like each other and they want to get in the ring and destroy each other. And this is that situation. I feel I'm okay with what happened last night because I understand the greater picture. The greater picture is simple. At the end of the day, whoever else that was going to win wasn't going to cash in. There was There's no light at the end of the tunnel for them. Some people are saying, oh, well, you could have had maybe someone else win and then cash in at SummerSlam to make it a triple threat? No. No. Yeah, you can sit up here and maybe have that person win, pin Damian Priest, and then try to have Gunther get his moment at Bash at Berlin, but that's the whole purpose of him winning King of the Ring. 
to have his championship match at King of the Ring 1v1. That's the whole purpose. You waste the King of the Ring tournament by doing that. To add in another stipulation from a money in the bank. That's why it needs to be a one-on-one -on -one and Gunther will most likely win. It's simple. I get it. I think a lot of people are going with their emotions on this. I've even seen people say, oh, what are they doing to Drew? Drew, he's, he's getting buried. He's not. He's the most popular he's been in WWE, in my opinion, damn near his whole career. He's cooking. Did y'all see what he did at that press panel, the post panel, and how irate he was and how pissed off he was? This is what we want. Y'all don't think it's a reason why they brought back the Bad Blood pay-per-view? Y'all don't... Y I think that's just random. They brought that back for a reason because there's feuds that are cooking right now that's going to fit the title of Bad Blood. Think about that. We know Finn Balor's most likely going to screw over Damian Priest at SummerSlam. They can build a feud there. We know Rhea and Liv, they're going to have a feud there. We know there's a good chance... Obviously, Drew and CM Punk, their feud may culminate there. It's a, There's a greater story to tell, and I get it. Some of y'all wanted someone new and fresh to win, but would you want that person to win only for them to sit there and hold the championship, I mean the Money in the Bank briefcase, for a long time for them to cash in and still not win? Because no, they've, they've already made it very clear. Gunther's going to be the next guy up. Cody's not releasing the title. There's... It doesn't work. If things were different, sure. But it doesn't work. We know this to be true. Okay? So, I think we need to kind of just calm down. A lot of those that are really upset, calm down and look at the bigger picture. Drew is in a high-profile feud with CM Punk. And it is a money feud that people want to see. They have been playing cat and mouse all damn all year long, and Drew, being the guy, being the heel that he is, he thinks he's the good guy here, but he keeps antagonizing the guy. And CM Punk, not giving a fuck, keeps screwing him over. At some point, they will implode. And I think it just makes sense. So I know a lot of people are upset. A lot of people think the money in the bank was wasted this year for the men's. I don't. Initially, I was, you know, kind of, you know, a little skeptical. Like, I don't know if they shouldn't have did that. But when you really sit there and think about it, whoever won that money in the bank was going to lose whenever they cashed in because it didn't matter. Cody's not losing. Gunther's not losing. We don't need to set up a pointless triple threat match because they were still most likely going to lose. Like, we got to understand these titles that have been presented as prestigious People are not going to lose. It depends on the situation. It depends on who holding it. But most likely, they're not going to lose the title on no fucking cash in. We saw it happen with Austin Theory. Do you guys not remember? Austin Theory ended up winning. And Roman was the champ. It was really only one top championship. We knew Austin Theory wasn't going to be successful in his cash in. So guess what they had to do? They had to have this guy cash in on the United States Championship. Because everyone knew. They even had him explain there's no way I was going to be able to win because the bloodline. This was just poor booking on Vince's side to really push the, the fact home that this is who Vince wants. But he didn't even think about, well, how is he going to cash in? Because he cashes in on Roman, he's going to lose. So it was a waste any time way. And you don't want that to be somebody else. So that's all I'm thinking. I'm, I'm just saying... I get why people feel some type of way because I was initially one of those people that didn't want it to happen that way on how, uh, you know, um, Drew would win it and then ultimately lose it the same night. I get that. But just look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is simple. Get, soon as Drew wins it, he ends up getting screwed out of it and loses it. It eliminates that that the money in the bank for the men's side of things obviously the women's side of things they have a little bit more time to cook so that's fine i think they're gonna do right by tiffany stratton 
and you know we'll see how that plays out but ultimately the better storyline was simple here drew and cm punk screwing each other you know we'll really cm punk getting his revenge on drew and drew crashing out even more and now you've added an even extra layer with seth rollins being pissed off that cm punk got into his business again best believe that's something that they're going to be planning down the line and we're starting to see it now they're picking back up that feud so it worked ultimately in my opinion y'all may disagree but that's just how I feel about it. Once again, I can sit there and disagree initially about something. But then when you really sit back and think about it, it actually works. It actually works. Yes, you could say, oh, you could have got the same result. You could have gotten the same result if just CM Punk screwed Drew McIntyre over in the match. But once again, it doesn't matter who you had win that match in the end. They weren't going to be successful. The cash in wasn't going to be successful. And it you still would have said it was a waste of time because who is he going to cash in on and it makes sense? You're going to make a triple threat match and he cash in on the other person? Nobody should be losing no championship off a triple threat match, especially the two people that we know, Gunther being one of them is going to be a future World Heavyweight Champion and Cody should not be losing in no triple threat match to for the World Heavyweight Champion, I mean, uh, the Undisputed Championship that he just beat from Roman. Like, we're not doing that. So, but... I want to get y'all opinion. Comment down below. Let me know. I know all y'all are not going to agree with me. And I'm okay with that. It's okay to disagree with certain points. But I want to get your perspective on. For those who feel like Drew could have just not won it. And got screwed over in the match. How would you book whoever you wanted to win in that match? How would you book it where it would make sense? I'm sure somebody can come up with some good ideas. So I want to hear y'all ideas. Because I know everybody's not going to be in agreement with how things played out last night so i want to get your opinion if you agree with me you can tell me why if you disagree with me you can tell me why and give me a better solution and i'm gonna read the comments you know what i'm saying it's okay to disagree when it comes to this wrestling thing because at the end of the day it's never gonna be perfect for everybody doesn't matter what the outcome is there's still people to this day that are pissed off that roman reigns is not the champion and cody won you can never please everybody but you can always have that discussion because at the end of the day, WWE wants you to talk about it. Don't give a fuck if you like it or not. Talk about it because it creates engagement. It creates more things for them in the end. So, but I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. I'm still going to be the YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you next one. Peace.